is Gretchen Men for Guitar Player TV, and today we're going to be checking out the Headrush pedal board. It's part of a new generation of a lot of really cool effects and um, amp modelers on the market right now, and there's some things about it that are really unique and really cool. Okay, so the Headrush pedal board offers a staggering number of sound possibilities. Truly, the, the combinations are virtually limitless. You would run out of attention or lifespan before you would exhaust them, I think. So um, you can not only dial in things you would expect, like delay times and feedback level and you know, stuff like that, but also you can change the, uh, the signal chain. You can change amps, cabinets, everything. So you can get really, really custom. But another way to get started, and this is how I got started with this, is I just went through a lot of the presets, which are really cool. They're very uh, intuitively named. And I found some that I liked as a foundation, and then I started customizing it and then saving them as my own presets. So here's one that I was playing with for sort of like a, just a sweet sort of semi-clean, semi semi-overdriven lead tone. Okay, so I'm going to just take you through how I started setting up sounds and everything because it's a great way to look at the touch screen. So right now we have um, the, the preset 224 Clean Heaven, and that's what I started with for the arpeggios, that part. Um, and then what you can do is you can, you can touch on any one of these pedals, right? And on the right side, all these parameters come up. Um, so you can adjust with these knobs you know, the, say, say you're on, um, the, let's say we're on the delay, um, so that it's maybe not quite as wet. So, but maybe we want a little bit more, or we want to be really extreme, right? Now what you can also do is you can double click, you can double click on it. Um, you can do everything, you can change the color of the pedal, like if you're used to seeing your delay, in you know a blue, you can change you can change what colors assigned to it. Um, you can also go in and there's tons of other types of delays. So let's just try um, a different one and hear how that sounds. So you can really customize this. Now let's say that you want to also change your reverb a little bit. Um, double click there. Maybe we don't want to do hall, but like a chamber reverb. It's all just so intuitive, right on the screen. Like all you have to be able to do is read the screen and everything is right there. Um, now if you wanted to say add a pedal, you can go to this plus sign. There's an empty slot and say you wanted to add, you know, some other type of modulation, like, like a flanger. Okay, let's just take a, a default mono. And now we have... Maybe we want to change the depth a little bit, dial back the feedback a little bit. So you can see it's super easy to do. Now let's say you go in there and you just are like, ah, oh, no, I'm not feeling the flanger. Just go in there, delete. Yes. Now say you get it to the point where you're really liking the way it's sounding, you can go into save, and then you can save a new, uh, a new rig here. And you title it, let's just call it, um, you know, new arpeggios. We'll call it new arpeggios or new arp. And now you have that as part of it's now you've created your own preset. Which then, if you say you decided you didn't like quite as much um, delay as you put in there, you can go on your delay, you can dial it back a little bit, you can save it again, and it gives the option to either save a new rig or to save it to the pre existing one. So maybe you want you just wanted to overwrite what you had done, just save it. Otherwise, you go to like save a new rig and then you have two similar but slightly various uh, options. So I showed you some things that were just maybe practical for my purposes, but you got all sorts of crazy, cool, interesting, sometimes kind of crazy stuff in here too. So this one, I just wanted you guys to hear like um, a preset that's kind of crazy and extreme. Uh, this is 262 synth bass.
<laughs> okay, so the same, um, just basically touch and tap works the same thing, works the same way for amps and for cabinets. So say you want to audition different amps. Well, first you, you touch the amp, you can have all your treble bass, all your parameters there, but if you actually want to change your amp, click on it, and then you can go to different models. Maybe try this tweed. Maybe you decide you don't like it, you want to go back. Go back with the back button, different cabinets right here. So you have your parameters here, and then you go in here and you can actually change the cabinet type, the mic type. So you see there's just, the number of options you have is huge. So let's just try a different one. Uh, Try that, and we're going to try a slightly different mic. So again, you've got so many different options. Okay, so this is like a basic rock riff tone. Okay, so one of the really cool functions of the Headrush is that it's got this great looper function. So the way you get to it is right up here it says looper, you hit that, switch, and then you hit record when you're ready to start, and then hit record again when you're done with the loop. So. That'll start playing back. You can adjust the level of the mix here and you can play over. Another cool function you can do is say you don't like what you did and you're playing with layers, you hit peel and then that takes away, especially if you're having lots of layers and maybe you've done two really good ones and then you mess up on the third one, peel takes away the last layer you just did. So then you can, um, when you're in the loop function, you still can change different tones up here um, and be able to create you know, thick, lush sounds with multiple guitar tracks. So we have barely even scratched the surface of all of the capabilities of this thing. It's an incredible tool, it's very versatile, it's very straightforward. And some other things we didn't even really get to talk about or touch on is that um, it has gapless preset switching with tail spillover, so you get really nice and smooth transitions between different presets. You can do um, custom and third-party IR loading. There's just a million things you can do. You can actually, there's um, effects loops, so you can use just, uh, you can use outboard pedals, you can use just the amps, you can use just the effects. It's amazing. I mean, being able to use this at a gig, being able to bring this to a recording session, you'd have so many options right at your toes or fingertips. And as you can see, it's pretty compact given that you have countless rigs right here. So thank you so much. I'm Gretchen, this is Guitar Player TV, and this is the Headrush Pedalboard.